My purpose here today is to share with you a revolution that's taking place in the photographing of wild of birds in the wild. If you're a bird watcher or an amateur photographer, yeah, I think you will find this information very interesting. You know, it's always been difficult to take close-up pictures of birds in the wild. It takes time, money, and patience. You must begin with a camera that may may cost two thousand, five thousand, or even ten thousand dollars, and then you must wait for the perfect picture. Those were conditions of the past. Now getting a close-up from a bird is easy to do, and it's inexpensive. It won't take much of your time or much of your money to really enjoy close-up of bird pictures. Here's how it's done. First of all, with this setup, you have a shepherd's hook. The shepherd hook has hanging from it three feeders. A grain feeder for the small birds, a black sunflower seed for the cardinals and wrens, and then soot for woodpeckers. Although you'll be surprised, many of the birds, such as Carolina wrens, will go to that uh, soot in time. The, uh, here's a view of uh, the, what the camera sees from as it looks down the branch. The camera we're using here is from the Blink Home Security System. It's an excellent Wi-Fi camera and has outstanding resolution. As an amateur photographer, I've been able to photograph a lot of very interesting things. Uh, here are some of the pictures that I've taken through the years. And with this setup and with the landing bridge, I can now capture images of birds close up. Some of the pictures of my birds are shown here. This camera is um, motion activated. You'll, it will take m multiple videos and there's no need for you to monitor the setup as these videos are being taken. Then later you can peruse the videos, select the ones that you want. The procedure is to mail those videos to yourself and then uh, put them on your computer. Once they're on their computer, on your computer, you can enjoy the videos and you can convert them to still pictures, close up of the birds. This book that I have here is called Birds of North America. It's an excellent reference book and you can use this in a kind of a fun way if you will buy multiple copies and share them with your family members that are out of state and also interested in bird watching. Then as you discuss a bird, you can go to a certain page and find that exact bird. Lastly, I urge you to share this video with others that might you think might be interested in photography or bird watching. Thank you for your time today, and I hope you have the success that my wife and I have enjoyed as bird watchers. Bye bye.